In this lesson, we are going to see how to save, publish, and share our apps with others. Because I'm sure you're going to learn how to build nice apps, and then others will want to use your app. So we need to know that, right? Let's get started. Here inside the app that was just demonstrating the interface, of course, it's not a useful app. It just understands the concepts of the interface. Very shortly, we are going to start to build our first app, but let's finish understanding the whole interface. As we saw, saving the app is just clicking the Save button. And I mentioned in the previous lesson that we need to enable the automatic saving, because sometimes we forget saving this. So just to review how to do, we go to this config items here, the settings, or it can be here in the top. Then under the general tab, we have auto save, and that will save our app every two minutes. In the past, this was automatic. We just needed to save the first time, but now we need to enable. We never know if this is going to continue or not. I preferred the other way. Now it's going to save every two minutes. So if I do changes, move things around, add controls, every two minutes, it's going to save my work. Okay. After saving the app, doesn't mean that what I did will be available to use. Let's try to understand this. In order to use the app, I just need to go to make.powerapps.com to find the app so I can play it. Of course, I can play it here from the interface, but this is just for previewing the app. When we really want to use, we want to play the app and not worry about the editing interface. So going back to make.powerapps.com, I'm going to go to the Apps tab and see if my app's in here. Here it is, App 0001. If I play the app, let's see what we are going to see in here. See, that's different from what I have in there. I just have a button and a label. I don't have that image in here and the background is gray. That's because the version that's in here is not published yet. And here we have the button, Publish. This means that we want to make this version that we are seeing right here in the editing interface available to be executed. So once we click on publish this version, it's going to publish the most recent version. And then if we go back to the app that we are executing and refresh, we are going to see that a new version is coming. And after a couple of seconds, we have this yellow bar asking to refresh the app. So if I click on refresh, now I'm going to see the newest version. Now I also see the images that I inserted in the app and the background color that's white. Going back to the app studio, I can keep adding things in here. For example, a text. I'm going to just to write something to this text. Welcome to the app. Let's put a big font size and resize a little and just change the position of this flower, the image position, let's put fill, okay? And now I can just click on save again. In the same way, if I go back, refresh the app, nothing is going to happen because I didn't publish. So if I want to keep editing and doing some adjustments in the app and saving, I'm fine until I publish. This is good in case you want to do some improvements in the app. And then when you decide you're ready, you can publish and make it available to the users. Now let's publish again. I'll just write something here to describe what I did in this change. Let's say added a welcome message and click on publish this version. If I go back to the app that's executed and refresh the app, we are going to see that a new version is coming. Let's wait for the new version to appear and see the new version in here. Now we see the message. We can click on refresh or even refresh the page. And we are going to see the new version of the app. Very nice. Know that you can also restore versions. If I want to return to the previous version before I published, I can restore it. So we can go to Power Apps, to so make.powerapps.com here on apps and under my apps, I can find my app in here. Click on this ellipsis, go to details, and then in the details page, I can see versions. Here I can see all the previous versions that I published. 
It's not showing the version note here, even though I added a version note. Let me refresh just to see if it shows or not. No, but okay. And let's say I want to return to the previous version that I did one or two minutes ago, or even the version that I did one week ago. What I can do is go into the version here, selecting it, and then click on Restore. Now I confirm that I want to restore. This will be saved as a version 9, so it will be the next version of the app. It's restoring. It showed this message that the restoring failed because the app is open in the edit mode, so I need to close the app to be able to restore. That's a common error because the app's opened. Let's click here on back and click on save just to close the app so we can restart the versions. Now with the app closed, let's try again. Let's go back here to the versions, select the version I want and click on restore. Now it says it restored successfully. Here I have version 9 and 10, but we can see that the published one is the version 8. That's the version that's still open in here. I can refresh, but I still see the latest version. What it means is that now, if I go back to edit, I'm going to see the latest version, that's the one that I restored, but not published yet. Let's just confirm that. I'm going to open the app in here, and we are going to see that we have the previous version from this one in here. In this lesson, we have to wait a little bit because I need to close and open things but it's part of the process of learning. We need to see that the platform asks us to wait a little bit. See, this version that opened has the image touching the end of the screen, while this one that's published has a space in here. So it returns to the very previous version from before this version that we are seeing right now. So every time I save the app, it creates a new version that I can restore. For example, now we have version 10. If I just change something and save and refresh this page that has the versions, we see version 11. So every time I save, it creates a new version. And after it's closed, we can still see that version 8 is the one that's live. If I want to make this latest version that I restored and changed and saved available, I can just select it and publish this version. So I'm going to select it and click on publish this version. Now I'm going to have the latest version that I just saved in the app editor. Maybe it's a little confusing the way I'm explaining, but what I did is restart, that created a new version. Then I did some edits and saved, creating a new version. And I'm just publishing this latest version and we should see it soon here. See, now we have the latest version that I just published with the image here in the left side. Now if I want to restore that version that I had, that was version 8, I just select the version, click on restore, that will create a new version, version 12, and then I can just publish back this version. So let's click on publish version, and then soon we should see it back. It's good to do this exercising with this app that was just a demo app just for us to practice because then when you have a real app that you need to do that you already know how it works now that we already saw how to save and restore an app version let's see how to share this app with others let's do this in the next lesson so this lesson doesn't get too big see you in there